All right, so welcome back to another episode of building a SaaS app with Django and SaaS Pegasus. And today I want to uh, set up my billing. Um, so I'm expecting, what I'm hoping to do today is I'm going to um, create my uh, billing model in Stripe. Uh, I'm gonna hook that up into my app and uh, we'll see how long that takes and, and whether we wanna kind of go any further than that. Um, so this is, uh, this is the updated landing page uh, from last time. I, um, it's, it's still not great. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sort of so-so on it, but uh, it's good enough for what we want to do. Um, so this is kind of the feature section with slightly fleshed out versions of copy about searching history and syncing and import and things like that. Um, this is the relevant part for today, which is the pricing model that I've decided to, to start with. Um, and basically there's, there's two things that I'm gonna key off of for pricing. The first is user accounts. So how many people can, can log into to this app, uh, which is now called Community Keeper, although that name might change. Um, and then the second is messages. So um, on the free tier, there's gonna be just like one user account for the administrator basically, and then up to 2000 messages. And then as you go up in the tiers, you get more user accounts and more uh, messages. And um, the last tier gets some extra support as well. Um, so the first thing I want to do is, is um, kind of build the Stripe uh, billing model to match this pricing model that I've set up. Um, and hopefully I'll do this without leaking any credentials. Um, I will be working in test mode. so. Uh, if I do leak my API keys, then um, that's not such a big deal. Um, if, any, if you haven't worked with Stripe before, they have a nice kind of test mode versus live mode. Um, and in test mode, it's all fake data, fake money, fake credit cards. Um, and in live mode, it's all, it's all real. Um, so, right, so I wanna set this up. Um, let's see if maybe, let's see how this works, if I can kind of split screen this. Um, yeah, so these are the four plans I want to create. Um, and to do that, first I'm going to create products. So I'm going to click on products there and then I'm going to add a product. Um, and so this will be like the tribe product. We don't need to create one for our free tier or for our hobby tier. Um, I'll just paste this in, I suppose. Um, tax category, this is, I think, new, um, but that seems fine. Pricing model, um, I think standard pricing uh, is what I want. It's going to be $9 uh, recurring monthly default price. And I can add another price here. If I wanna set up annual pricing, um, which, which I think I do, um, then uh, I'll add another price. And normally what's common is to do um, sort of like 10 months of billing, uh, 10 months price for 12 months, uh, which amounts to like a 10% discount or so. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna heavily discount the annual plan just because um, cause it's a new product and, um, and uh, maybe people you know, uh, I like the idea of getting people signed on for a year and, and committed to using the product. So I'm going to discount um, the annual plan substantially. So this is like almost 50% uh, nine, more than 50% off. Maybe I'll make it um, $59. Um, and we'll make that yearly. Um, so I'll save that. credential non-leaking, I hope. And what's happening here? Okay, it's spinning. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's the tribe product. I'm gonna add another one now for village. I don't know about these names. Uh, I was trying to be cute and like come up with 
names that sort of matched this community theme. I don't know if they're like more confusing than, um, than helpful, but uh, that's where we are. Um, so this is $19, $19 a month recurring. Um, and I'm not gonna think too hard about this math. Uh, I did what, 59 for the last one, so approximately double that would be one uh, 119, let's say, per year. Uh, I should have pressed save and add more. Okay, and we'll do the last one for nation. So, like, so this would actually kind of be like, sort of like, I don't know, I don't know what you call that one, but this would be like professional and this would be enterprise or. Copy that in. We'll call this ninety-nine dollars per month, and per year, I guess nine ninety-nine. Did I mess that up? I messed that up. Four ninety-nine. We'll do it like kind of or five ninety-nine. It's kind of consistent with the with the tribe one um, per year. Okay, I'll save that. Uh, so now um, we have these kind of these three products uh, that match our pricing plans. Um, that's basically uh, all we'll need to do on the Stripe side, uh, hopefully. And um, so now we'll go to the Pegasus side of the house, and um, I'll just like go through these docs. Just uh, this is the Pegasus subscription doc. Um, so I've already uh, updated my API keys, so you're not going to see that part. Uh, I didn't want to leak those. Um, I would just set up my billing plans, and now I'm going to run um, this manage.py bootstrap subscriptions function. And uh, let's sign out of Slack. Yeah. And so what this does, uh, it will... Uh, bring across all that data that I just um, created in Stripe and uh, synchronize that to my local um, Pegasus database, which uses uh, the DJ Stripe uh, Python library to um, kind of manage your Stripe data in your Django application. Um, the uh, other thing it has done is uh, it spit out this active products um, suggestion and it's telling me to copy it and paste it into this file um, and this this is how pegasus will know um, which products to sort of like use on the um, on the subscription page let me um, change this to presentation mode and bring up the navigation so in uh, subscription metadata um, there's this active products thing. And this, this is just kind of the default that ships with Pegasus, but I'll, um, I'll delete that. And I'm just gonna copy and paste what, um, what that command spit out um, and save that. And, and the reason these are defined in code, I, I actually think these should probably get defined in more of like a settings type of place. Um, but it's, it's quite common to like sort of need to make a bunch of different Stripe plans. And, um, you know, like you have, you have an enterprise customer and they want some special thing and you give them a special price. And, and you can do a lot of that with the prices. Um, so you could, can kind of add custom prices to, um, to a particular plan. Um, but I, I, I found in projects that I work on that it's quite common that um, you won't actually, uh, not every plan or product in your Stripe account will be um, something that you want to show in your app. So this this kind of allows you to configure it in code, um, which I find is usually the, the best place for it. Um, but uh, anyway, it probably should be in a setting. Uh, that's, that's a change that I'll hope to make in Pegasus at some point. Um, and 
yeah, optionally edit the active plan intervals. I think um, I, I did add annual and monthly pricing already, so um, I don't need to worry about that. And let's see, so now um, if I sign in here, and uh, let's see here. Um, if I go to my subscription now, yeah, so these uh, look funny. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this down in there. Um, that's something that I will have to figure out, possibly on this live stream, possibly not. Um, but this, so this has now um, brought in that, uh, that um, data from here and is showing it to my users. If I click monthly, it'll switch to the monthly plans. This text we can customize since we've kind of messed with that. Um, these features here uh, are coming from here. Um, so, you know, if we want to, um, if we want to make those like, uh, let's see, where did the landing page go? So if we want to say for tribe, we'll have five user accounts and unlimited Slack users. So we can update those in the, um, in this features list. So five user accounts. Slack users. And what was the last one? That was nice and, nice. Um, and like, I, I don't think I'll get to it on, on this screencast, but um, uh, we will probably want these limits, like the user limit and the message limit, to be sort of first class. Um, first class data so that our app will eventually know how to handle them. Um, I'm just gonna, oops. What did I just do? I'm just gonna paste these into the other two plans here. And then, oops. So I'm gonna order them so that Try village nation. Just, and this was what? Um, one, five, 50? Is that what I said? No. Five, 50. Unlimited. Uh, you kind of get the idea, but um, just for completion, 10,000 messages. 50,000 messages, 500,000 messages. That's a lot of messages. Um, okay, so now if we refresh this page, um, it will again update that uh, data that we set there. Um, and these are uh, already hooked up to Stripe, so um, it knows about the Stripe product ID. Um, and so now if I want to subscribe to one of these, so let's say I want to subscribe to the village plan. Um, I'll upgrade. And this will take me to uh, Stripe checkout. Um, it has, you know, sort of given me the, the right pricing, the right plan. I could go back. Uh, is this going to work? Let's see if this works. Oh, it did work. Um, so, you know, if I choose annual pricing on the tribe plan, it'll um, update itself accordingly. So, I mean, this, this isn't meant to be like an ad for Pegasus, but it is pretty cool how much functionality you just get right out of the box. All I had to do was set up this um, billing model in Stripe and all of this is taken care of me, uh, taken care of for me. Um, so, yeah, uh, so let's... Um, Let's try and buy this. So um, anybody who's worked with Stripe will know that 424242 is a uh, test card that um, should always work. And I will subscribe to this monthly village plan. And 
yeah, so that's brought me back here. It now um, knows that I've signed up for the village plan. Um, it's showing me some information about my uh, renewal and, and stuff. And then if I, if I do want to, you know, cancel, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, I can't use the customer portal until I save my customer portal settings. Um, we'll see how onerous this is and whether it's something I can just do real quick. Um, let's see. If I just press that button. Is that it? Let's see if that works. That was easy. Um, and so this is Stripe's uh, hosted portal page where you can manage your, um, all of your plans and uh, cancel, sign on, etc. Um, yeah. So let's go back here. Um, so that was quite quick. Um, and now I'm wondering whether to just stop it there. Um, this is kind of like a useful stopping point in that uh, this is this is sort of the the complete set of steps that a uh, new project would go through to um, to get set up with billing. So so maybe I will stop it there, and um, I'll think a little bit about what I might want to do next and whether um, and whether I'll I'll try and do the next step that I would take um, would be to uh, figure out how to apply these limitations. Um, it's called feature gating, uh, or um, there's kind of feature gating, which is turning on and off certain features for um, for a plan, and then there's like I don't know what these are, like usage limits. Um, but um, I'll have to add some business logic to my application to handle these limits um, and show upgrade notices and and all of that. But that will be a live stream for another time. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you next time.